Yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And if you don't know by now, crushed grapes is a lifestyle. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of roar. It's been a, a, a more than a minute. It's been a long while since I talked to y'all. I've been on like a hiatus for at least 30 days from internet posting. I was fasting for 30 days, much needed. Fasting from not just food uh, and drink, but also smoking my cigars and um, fasting from negative energy, the internet. Um, I found that the internet, the internet has become a cesspool for negative energy. And if you're trying to become the best version of yourself, the internet is the wrong place to be on a daily basis. So I wanted to talk to y'all. This is a family conversation. Um, a human conversation. But I want to, you know, I want to specifically, more specifically, I want to talk to my melanated people. And um, specifically the United States. I know I have uh, fans and followers and network of people in different countries, but this is more of a specific U.S. melanated black people, quote unquote, conversation. I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes, but you know, uh, it's important, so just bear with me. I got a lot on my mind. Again, I haven't spoken uh, publicly in at least 30 days, so bear with me. A lot going on. A lot has transpired over the last 30 days. Um, so much. I can't even, like, get into everything. But um, most recently, something that, um, as I've been back on the internet the last, you know, week or so, just tapping back in, um, you, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know, uh, about the passing of Kevin Samuels and um, I never been the type of person you know if you if you follow me long enough you know I don't post anything having to do with really anything much of anything other than the Crush Grapes Lifestyle brand or affiliated brands or affiliated associates that are doing things um, in my uh, you know Industries that I play and work in. So, but this, this, this brother Kevin Samuels passing and the the aftermath of it is what 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 I'm seeing is is very sickening. Um, this is not about whether or not you like Kevin Samuels. It's not about a personal opinion of whether or not you like his content or his opinions or his the data or facts or truths that he speaks um, how he speaks it what what I want to talk about is the hypocrisy and the the disrespect that's being shown for a successful a successful dead man a successful melanated dead man who has um, built himself up 
to be somebody from from the ground up, from scratch. And um, how his death is uh, his death. Like while he was alive, he was triggering a lot of women and some men. But his death is like <laughs> triggering people to lash out in a real heinous, disrespectful manner. All because they disagreed with his stance or his his opinions or the way he said certain things. And I find it very, very sad that particularly women, again, he has a lot of women followers. First of all, for people that don't know who this man is or don't know his history, briefly, he was speaking to men for years, maybe three, four years prior to the COVID shutdown of 2020. And um, he started taking calls from women in 2020 during the COVID. And that's when he really blew up uh, internationally and nationwide. Uh, he used to speak to men. He was very, uh, very harsh on men as well. His whole lot, his whole thing was, you know, he was teaching men and, and, and speaking to men about how to be the best version of themselves, holding them accountable for their lack and uh, letting them know what they need to do to, you know, be the best version of themselves. Um, and then he started taking calls from women and women would call in with their issues and he would tell them, um, you know, the issues are usually, why can't I get a certain type of man? And he would explain to them, you know, ask them questions and explain to them, you know, critique them, you know, or have them critique themselves and then break down why they're not getting the results they want. And I know that rubbed a lot of women the wrong way because these are harsh truths. But honestly, uh, if you really watched this man's content, what you realize is that he's just speaking a lot of facts. He has research, he has the data. He spends a lot of time researching and stuff and he really cares about the black community in terms of us getting together. Um, there's a lot of money being made and has been made for 50, 60 years, longer than that. But let's just go with 50, 60 years of the bashing of black men and women only having a voice um, before social media. You know, the talk shows, the movies, the commercials, the TV shows, um, men were bashed publicly in all of these forums and told to hush, keep quiet and Women got to speak their mind, what their preferences are, and men, what they, what they like, what they don't like, what they want. Black girl magic, all this business. I don't need a man, etc., 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 etc. Men are, you know, black men are bums. They're, they're deadbeat dads. It goes on and on. A lot of this stuff is just uh, the, the, the facts and the data just doesn't support all of that. So I, I understand when you hear a certain type of truth and you hear it in a very forward way and it debunks a lot of the things, the facts and the data debunks a lot of things you've been taught it triggers nerves and I get it, women are very emotional creatures I understand all that what I don't understand is again this is for the women in particular the black women in particular if, if, you're, if you're crying out for if you believe this man is bashing black women and tearing them down and disrespecting them, how is it possible that when this man dies, right? How, how is it possible for you to then tear him down on the day of his death in front of the world? Just to, with no regard, no empathy, no, 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 no respect for his family he has a daughter, he has a mother, he has women in his family that are grieving. So if you're about respecting black women, how is how, how do you disrespect the black women in his family or the black women that follow him 
and that actually, you know, have called up and wrote letters and saying, you know, you saved my marriage. Thank you, Mr. Samuels. You helped me be a better woman. You helped me be more accountable for my actions and thoughts and words. The utter disrespect of the dead. And really what you're doing, ladies, my sisters, is you're, 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 you're proving his point that black women in particular are just, they have a disdain for black men to the point where they'll, they'll bash the black man while he's dead. He can't even defend himself. He was very good at defending himself verbally and he would invite whatever critics or detractors to come on in his show, call in and let's have a debate. Let's have the argument. Let's have the discussion. If you feel why, you know, tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong. Now let's discuss it respectfully. Sometimes it got disrespectful. Sometimes the women were dis disrespectful. Sometimes the men, sometimes he was disrespectful. But the discussion has to be had because what you're seeing now in this thing called the manosphere is you're seeing men being having a voice now. It's not just Kevin Samuels. It's men coming out of from everywhere. There's all kinds of channels. It's, there's like a hundred channels now on YouTube and Instagram if you look at them of men talking about man shit. You know, men and women are different and black men and black women have a very specific existence and different type of issues than everybody else has. Every, every other, you know, group of individuals. And, um, you know, if you really paid attention to the actual data, the statistics, the numbers, the history of why, where, where we are right now, he spoke a lot of facts. Um, everything he said is not to be, everything isn't true about anyone. No one is right about everything, right? But most of the time he was on point from a man's perspective and a black man in particular. But he was also on point for a lot of women that, that, that um, wanted to do the work and get the results they wanted. And they weren't triggered by the emotional part. And some of them were triggered and, in, and, they, and, they, and they, you know, listened to the full broadcast and then they thought differently afterwards and they uh, ate the meat and spit out the bones, as they said, right? But what I, what I want to say, this is, again, this is not a, 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 a Kevin Samuels, uh, you know, uh, thing. Um, Kevin Samuel spoke for the majority of men. These conversations and these ideas have been had in barbershops and cigar lounges and, you know, basketball courts and, and different places where men gather for many, many years. And the bottom line is women has, haven't listened to us, you know, no matter how we say it. We say it softly or kindly or sweet. It, 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 women just didn't listen at all. And that's a whole nother conversation. Um, you know, the feminist movement, and, you know, which has really nothing to do with black women and, and uh, you know, a, a, bu a bunch of laws and diff different things, societal changes. But I want, I, I need to, I, I need to understand, like we need to, we need to be better. We can't, we can't say, I hate this man so much that I'm going to disrespect him while he, you know, on his, the day of his death, wish all kinds of hateful things for him going to hell and all kind of crazy, as if he's Hitler or, you know, Mussolini or whoever, whoever <laughs> the worst person you could think of. Like, this dude was a social media guy that had some things to say about our, our people, our, our black men and women, and us getting together and why we're not together. Um, I find it really ridiculous that the conversation is he's breaking and dividing black men and women apart. Like, have y'all not been paying attention the last 50, 60 years? We've been divided. And that's probably, that's really the biggest point is that the stuff he's talking about is about the divide and how to, and how to bring, um, 
how to bridge the gap of separation. And for some reason, uh, a lot of women and men are taking this the opposite way. Like, he's the one dividing. Like, no. And again, it's not just him. A lot of men are coming out with these channels. There are numerous channels. I urge you to look at them. There are also, surprisingly, a lot of women channels in the manosphere coming out talking about, you know, uh, things that women need to be held accountable for. Like, black women are ha have these channels. A lot of them. And um, again, it's not to bash black women. Uh, black women have had a voice for many years and they've been bashing black men um, and rating them and everything else that you have a problem with it, that he does. But black men just didn't say anything to you or, or we just talk about it amongst ourselves and we keep moving. But I don't think a black man or a black men in, 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 in mass will be bashing a black woman that spoke negatively about black uh, men while she, you know, on her day of her death and wishing all kinds of hateful stuff to her and her followers just because they disagreed with her. And I think this is the, uh, this is, a, this is really disgusting. And I think it's, again, it's, it's the point he proved. What y'all are doing is y'all proving his point. And that's the worst part of it. Like, um, some of these same people disrespecting his name and why he's dead are the same people that give passes to a lot of Caucasian people who speak negatively about us or have harmed us, our families. And look, man, President of the United States, man. The vice president. These people harmed more black women and men than Kevin Samuels, but y'all voted for these people. I want you to let that sink in. Y'all y'all really don't we have to cut this out. We need to be able to be able to have a, a, our own opinions as men without being vilified. Okay? Um, the success of that man's show is largely due to women calling up and looking for advice because they have questions and concerns and issues on why they're unhappy in the dating world and what they're, you know, how they can fix that and get the results they want. That's what he was doing. But again, he was doing the same thing with men and women didn't care. For many years, for three, 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 three years straight, women didn't care because it was a man's channel only. But ask the men that followed him during that time, and they'll tell you. Well, go back and look at the old videos. He was barking on them when they were, you know, fronting and acting, you know, and, and, and lacking. You know what I'm saying? And slacking. So we all need a little. Um, we all need a little truth sometimes, no matter how, you know. My grandfather used to say, if the truth hurts, say ouch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the truth is the truth is not supposed to feel good all the time. It's supposed to hurt when it's when it you know when it when it when it, when 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 it you know uh when there's truth to it and you don't want to face it, it's supposed to hurt. It's not supposed to feel good. But at the same time, you shouldn't be so hurt from this you know one man that you will wish death on him because he has opinions um, this man's not talking about killing or raping black women or you know or, or any of this kind of stuff he's talking about changes that need to be made in order to get us together in a more harmonious manner um, and the hypocrisy is just maddening. It's, it's out of control. We have to do better. That's what I want to say. We have to do better. We have to hold each other to a better standard. If you take anything from that brother, take that from it. Because that's really what he was about. And I'm going to say this and end this. I, I don't tell a lot of people this stuff. But I met this brother on uh, one of his 
one of his most recent trips to New York. And um, I'm going to tell you right now, the brother, the conversation I had with him was both enlightening, respectful, um, introspective, and uh, positive about our community, our women and our men, and, and just, you know, things we need to do. Um, older gentlemen, um, image consultant concerned about our image. That's why he looked the way he looked um, and stood firm. He stood for something, you know, um, that's very commendable. He built himself up with his old videos to, 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 you know, to the end. He was, you could see the growth, the aesthetic, you could see uh, the uh, genius and branding and marketing and uh, just just building yourself up into something um, polarizing, you know, um, and it's something to to take take away the good stuff. Um, the man every night he did a, a he, he basically put on a clinic for how to you know how to do, how to get how to be successful on social media and um so there's a lot to be taken away from that and also how to have conversations that are difficult to have between our people so i just i just i just want to say we need to do better um hold each other to bigger standards better standards be the best version that we can be of ourselves cut out the hypocrisy Without the bashing of each other, you know, men, uh, women have a lot to say. We should listen respectfully. Women, men have a lot to say, and we and we should listen respectfully. You know, the 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 question is, you know, why can't we have? Can can we protect black women? And uh protect black women and appreciate black women at the same time as we are respecting black men and honoring black men like can we do both at the same time why does it have to be one or the other why can't they both be done simultaneously you can't say you know I want to be protected by the black man where over the last 50 years there's been so much breaking down of the black man by the black women and support for it by the black woman um, in mass in public um, it's just it doesn't work that way we have to pay attention um, we got a lot of work to do and I think that brother um, he didn't start the conversation but he brought it to another level and carry it on and we need, we need to continue the conversation in different ways this is mr cab cabernet lifestyle connoisseur and um these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur Confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.